Fam, speaking of the IDF, um, uh, an IDF turned IDF soldier turned uh, uh, campaign manager turned uh, now stepping <laughs> out of fam. The last section of the day, just to touch on uh, your thoughts on Peter Dow uh, and cheese slice. You can put it on up if you got the tweet. Peter Dow is stepping down. My precious brother, Peter Dow, is stepping down to health reasons, fam. I'm sorry about the resignation of brother Peter. Based on his health, sincerely pray for him and his precious family and thank him for his service to my campaign. There is, And that's like 50,000 views. I mean, it's just been like if you just look at the views on Brother Cornell West post and everything, it's just and he's the best on Israel, Palestine. And there's a lot of people who are not even happy with his comments and whatnot. I'm not. You know? mm-hmm. I, he was on with Chris Cuomo yesterday. It was a pretty good, interesting uh, uh, interview. But um no, yeah, I, I I think his comments on on Israel Palestine are probably the best than anybody out there mm-hmm. because we that's how far behind the eight ball we are when it comes to this subject. There is no help, yeah. there is no love, there is no understanding, and you know, um, if he's far out and ahead of front of everybody else, forget about it. I'm so tired of human violence and brutality. I'm so tired of U.S. enabling and supporting it. My PTSD from growing up in Beirut under constant bombardment is being triggered in a big way by this genocide. I'm going to take time off and pray on everything. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, I'm not. All right, let's just talk about the state really quick. Let's go big screen. Let's just talk about the state of this campaign, fam, right now. Okay, it's over. (laughs) Cornell West should make the same statement right now. It never started. He should make the same statement right now and just peacefully step aside. Um, I don't he know. Has he has a better campaign. Make... Yeah, I was just gonna say he has a better campaign than Chank Huger, but um, yeah. you know, yeah. And this is his <laughs> issue right here, right? This is his issue, and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's sad uh, because you you want to root for the guy, but I mean, he's just not there on all the issues, and he's a he's a nice academic intellectual. He's very smart. He he, I think he understands more of what's happening than he lets on. Uh, and uh, but he, you know, runs in the the liberal left circle, so he protects himself. And um, I, first of all, Peter Dow managed to make the entire Palestine Israel disaster uh, about him. Um, so yeah, a lot of people are feeling upset right now, but the Palestinian people are definitely the ones suffering the most. And I just don't buy that he quit because of whatever reason, like he's quit every single campaign he's been on. The guy seems to be just crashing campaigns wherever he goes. And to me, that is a sign of an operative it is a sign of somebody that's, you know, creating chaos. I mean, these are the CIA one, two, three, four, five. Um, you go into an organization, you create distrust, you create chaos, and then you leave. That's literally what happens. And so I just find the whole thing very weird. I'm not saying Peter Dow is 100%, you know, a CIA or anything like that. But I am saying he has been a DC operative. And this is what is done. Um, Cornell West isn't going to recover from any of this. He never really That's took my question off. now, fam. Where does the Cornell West campaign go from here? Where do they pick? How do they pick up the pieces and move on? What do you do if you're Cornell West? You know what I'm saying? What do you do at this point? It, it's just, what should it, he do? It's it's comical. Quit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. He Maybe. should drop out. But, well, wait, you know, well, cheese slice has a solution. Cheese slice coming here real quickly. What yeah, should Cornell off. West do? Go ahead. How, okay. Let me oh. tell you something. Sometimes I think that uh, cheese slice <laughs> believes too much. Yeah, <laughs> you know, he's I, I try to be positive. Try I, to be positive. I think sometimes the positivity of cheese slice can kind of wander on into unrealistic territory. But look, he's got look, a good heart. He's saying, "Give peace a chance." What's your thoughts? I, I am slice? a pessimist by nature, so I'm not very good at being optimistic. Let me put it that way. Uh, I think if if Cornell West wants to stay in this race, his only real chance is to talk to RFK. And maybe team up and run as his vice president. But the only way that can happen is if he can change RFK's position on Israel Palestine, which is a huge, right. huge but. Like, because I think RFK is a true it's believer not on that just issue. Israel Palestine, though, too. It's but that's that's, that's a huge Look, one. Here's, here's listen. Huge. I don't believe that Fee 
and some of her cohorts who are opting out of the electoral process are in the right space. I just don't believe that's an option. However, the area where Fiorella was most right was the fact that it just can't be condensed down to Israel alone. You can't just be bad on the Israeli-Palestine issue because what happens, it can spur out to other issues. And oh, he yeah. said stuff that blew my mind. Like when people were like, know. you know, when I woke up that Saturday, all I was praying for more than anything, right, other than the Palestinian people that I knew the bombing was going to come like crazy. We knew it was coming. They're like, oh, shit. Yeah. They're going to go crazy. They're going to carpet bomb this place out there. But also from a political point of view, I said, please, RFK, don't touch your phone. Just leave it alone. Yeah. <laughs> Less than an hour thinking. later. And that statement was so awful because it's one thing to sit there and go, I believe Israel has the right to exist. I am pro-Israeli. But when a situation happens like that and you're supposed to be the peace candidate, you don't even not only do you not call for a ceasefire, but you pretty much green light a carpet bombing coming. And then days later, it spins out to, wait a second, now we don't want to economically take on China, but we need Israel there like an aircraft carrier because if we don't occupy that space... Here comes China, and China's working with Iran and Venezuela. He is not a pro-peace candidate. He went against everything he fucking said right there, and that is the issue with Israel-Palestine because it could spin out to other things. You can't unequivocally stand by Israel because that means you can start World War fucking three with Russia. I absolutely Period. agree with you, but my point is Cornell West would have to talk to RFK and persuade him to change his mind on that issue, which – is a huge ask. I don't know if that's even possible. It's not but possible if, because if, we if don't somehow even that could happen. That's why he's supporting that's Israel. The only they would I don't believe he's stupid enough to believe what all that bullshit he talked about, which a 16 year old would talk about what he learned from Hebrew school. No. Right? I, I don't think, believe he believes that. There's a reason why he, he does. Fought, paid off, threatened. I agree. Threatened. I agree with Jamie. I think he I think paid. I think. think I, I think I agree with Jamie. I think I think he fervently believes what he's, he's saying. Pasta. He's a true believer. Yeah. He's, I, I I don't think he'd be so vociferous about it if he wasn't yeah. to all. But that. everything else, he knows everything extensively, and you can't put those dots together. I don't. I believe I, a lot of, I believe else. he's blowing smoke up. I believe it's about his wife more than anything. But that's just me. It, it, indoctrination is a is a hell of an experience to go through. Like it's yeah. it's. You you've got to. But we all went thing. through it, and we all uh, go. Yeah, we I all have, go through I, it, right? We all say. Yeah. I mean, well, a lot of us have. lie, and, and it's not easy. It takes years to get out of it. Um, but I think I, I have a, I life. have friends who have been entirely right on every single issue, and when it comes to this issue, yeah, they have been entirely indoctrinated so much so that they've ended friendships with other people over this issue. You, they're pro, you know, they're, they're, they, they're against uh, money to Ukraine. They're against all this other stuff. They, they're even, they're good on every single issue, but it's this issue because they have Zionist friends that have warped their mind. They yeah. completely refuse to believe anything else. And they got so passionate. They, they said they were going to go out and buy an Israeli flag wow. and, you know, and, and throw like, I mean, it's just, and they're not even Israeli. Which is the worst part. It's like they're not even, they have zero ties. So this issue, for whatever reason, really gets to people. And I just don't think, and again, like, I, I, I'm sorry, but it, if it, it was always, if this, it wasn't just about Israel-Palestine, it was going to touch on everything, especially with Iran. The comments he has said about Iran and going to war with Iran and, and that, you brought up I mean, that, it, that is catastrophic. You well, yeah, Venezuela. and that tells me. Yeah, the global south like oh, yeah. the yeah. theatrics but he was like that with the border stuff that's why i mean wasn't, i just you know, I, I thought he was a lot more what if i thought if he was with israeli palestine the way he was with the border he would have had a lot more success because he comes from that compassionate point of view and then recognizes our foreign policy is driving people here if he had done that in israeli palestine listen Ladies and gentlemen, I stand with Israel. They have a right to protect themselves, but we're going to call for a ceasefire first till we can no. figure stuff out. We don't want this to spin into World War Four, three. And but he four. didn't say that because he's a true believer in in what is. Look what is Ian doing put down, though, Jamie. Good. You see what? That's my friend Ian. Another worldview possible fam. You remember Ian mm -hmm. with the big old army hat and you know he hanging mm -hmm. out. This Ian over here, we love you. I'm exposing you, Ian. Another worldview is possible. I got to see him at your brother's going away party. Uh, RFK is saying that I wasn't uh, invited. 
to my brother's going away party. You were okay? in freaking Moscow. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> my own brother doesn't invite oh, me to his going stop. away party. I mean, I am appalled. I'm, I'm just Damn. going to like. Alto. Unbelievable. Alto. Because he really wants to be U.S. president. That's really good. But you know what, Jamie? I'm so sorry for interrupting your dream, your peyote, <laughs> your peyote, peyote. solution. You, uh, I right. wish I could Everybody, believe that, Jamie. Jamie well, took I, the I, MP. I don't believe it either. Ja I Jamie think... <laughs> took the MP, and now he's going to tell us how our uh, how Cornell West can stay in the. I, I think it's, I think it's really the only way he could stay. That's all. But but what I'm saying is a, it's a huge ask, and I don't mm -hmm. see it happening. Would RFK but if some, if be some miracle that? it could happen, yeah. then I think they could be a Why would ticket, RFK want to do that? Because let's be honest now. RFK is still raising money. He's still doing good in the polls. Because of the Americans' point of view on Israeli-Palestine, uh, I think he tanked a lot of people that would follow him, but he has a lot of normies that he tapped into that Cornell West never went and got Cornell West. And this is the reason why me and Jimmy had a problem with him is like, why won't you change your fucking language? You say you want to reach out to Trumpers oh, and reach out to them. He never did. But yeah, but RFK he does did, especially if he was talking about the border. That was one area where he got a lot of Republicans to come in there. His COVID stance, he stands alone. So there's a lot of them there. Why would RFK want to take on Cornell West, Jamie? Because Cornell West brings in a lot of people that, that RFK is not able to reach right now. He's RFK has turned off a lot of people that are on the Cornell West um, campaign. So he's, so he's going after the Chuck Modi vote. That's going to help him get over the top. <laughs> maybe. Why? Maybe. Why are you hating on Chuck Modi? Chuck Modi is pro Palestine, and he's been doing a great job he's covering great this that. event. Awesome, so don't man. hate. Don't hate yeah, on yeah, Chuck. I'm, I'm like, Chuck's been other great. <laughs> I, I no, say. no, I hate him for other reasons because he couldn't yeah. see, understand why me and Jimmy and he went after us. He couldn't understand why we were getting upset with Cornell West and try to make it a race issue. That's why I will hate on Chuck Modi, because once again, that Israel Palestine contingency is small. We have to educate people on this they yeah. have to grow into this. But as a voting block, they are nothing right now. The voting block we were talking about with the people like those guys, like the Answer Coalition. The Answer Coalition's having an event on October. Is it November 4th, Cheese Slice? Did they call any of us? No. None. None. No. You really serious about this issue? You don't want to put this shit aside again? The rage against the war machine fucking issue. Oh, we can't partner with libertarians. It's the fucking libertarians that are with us right now on the conservative side when it comes to Israel-Palestine. They're all we got. Yeah, I you know, them, I mean, I, yeah. I, did, I did get the message about the November 4th thing and I've still supported. I think we should still go. Yeah, we, we yeah, should we should still we go. Can. Like even if even if yeah. they even if I they go to Lahaina. The, well, I know you've got yeah. your thing. I'm, I'm probably going to go. Nice uh, excuse, pasta. No, I, I, uh, I got I, no, I, I <laughs> they didn't even call it. Even if they did, if I could go, I would go. But I can't. I mean, obviously, you know, look, I think we got to put this put aside any personal beef we have with people. We are to, willing to, to to step up. because They are not the bigger issue. <laughs> I, yeah. But you know what? We'll be the bigger man on this situation because uh, like the, this genocide that's going on in Palestine is bigger than any personal beef that I like, agree. YouTubers I agree. might have with each other yeah. or even people in different of uh, activist groups might have each other. We have to stop what our government is pushing right now. We have to stop what Israel is doing to this group of people. I mean, I, like, I am not proud of the history of the United States when I look at what we did to the Native Americans in the 19th century. And still, you could even argue going into the 20th century as well. But the, the biggest crimes we, we pulled off were in the, uh, in the 19th century. I'm ashamed at that history. And what I see going on in Israel is exactly the same thing that happened over 100 years ago. But the difference is between then and now is we are here now and we can do something to stop what is going on in Israel before they keep going and kill everybody. Because that's where I see this ending. That what, out of the two million Palestinians there, I don't think Israel be, will be happy until they're completely gone, either by yeah. sending them out to Egypt or Jordan, getting them out of their homeland or just killing them all together. And that needs to stop. That's what needs to end. Like Norman Finkelstein says, you've got to end the blockade and then you've got to find a way to create equality between these two groups of people, whether it's two state yeah. solution or one state solution, whatever it is. But the, the blockade has to stop. The genocide has to stop. And then you have to treat these people with dignity and respect. And then the violence will stop. Um, 
that's that's the only way this goes. Otherwise, if you keep supporting Israel, then you're going to have two million dead people on your hands, and then going to have bad bad blood that's going to last for centuries. And is Israel and the people who are living there will never be safe. And that's the way to end the show. Thank you, Jamie. Look at that. cheese slice. Put up your fucking. Uh, uh, you buy me a coffee and stop taking so much peyote. It's not going to help you out in this situation. Look, you know? I told you I am a pessimist by nature. And when it comes to doing optimism, Sam, I'm just really bad at let it. Let him have his peyote. <laughs> All right. I like be... to think of a way forward. I'm not saying I think it's going to happen. I'm just saying this is a path forward that if we walk yeah. down that path, things would get better. But anyhow, I hear you. here is this is my. Um, Buy me a coffee page. This is what it Jeez, looks like. Slice of life, everybody. Go help him out. Give him two That's bucks, right. five bucks, whatever you can. Uh, he's been doing some great work for us, and we love him. And we hope to get some good coverage when he goes out there on, on November 4th. 